Oh, no previous section today. As if you haven't seen the previous episode. Where have you been? Where have you been? Because it all leads up to this very delayed video today. As welcome back, people, to the finale of the Liverpool career mode here on More MWS. And yes, it is the last episode of a career mode on this channel for a little while. I know, I know, exams are a bugger. You can still see us on normal MWS as today you can see the fixtures we have. We have four league games, two Champions League games, and we're already in one final. We have Barcelona in the semis, and I've just noticed off screen before I started recording, the other semis is Juve and Porto. Now I think that's winnable if we do get through, as in the league, We've done a little bit of a bottle, but we are still on top. It's not very nice to us, and we have the FA Cup final, and yes, the Carabao unfortunately didn't happen. Congratulations to City, who beat us and won it. As we don't want to mess around, this video is going to be huge. No chance to do what we did last time against Barcelona. The 4-0 demolition job just can't happen as the first leg is at Anfield. Don't like playing away second, as is this the team we start off with? You can see we've got most of the strong players in, but a huge call is Darwin Nunez playing over this man Jota on the bench. Now, both of those were up for player of the season, a feature we'll address later on. And I guess another controversial move is McAllister, because he's just come back from injury and Jones has been playing well. Seb Butcher on the bench, Kelleher obviously relegated, who were two players playing well. But this is the team that is going to be going to the home leg. And this game is going to be highlights. We've got to be very careful with what we play and don't play. We want to play the second leg, as that is the almighty decider. So we've got to try and beat Barcelona in very limited chances, I'm guessing, at Home. Here we go, though. As long as them little chances come for us, as Dominic Saboslai, on a little bit of a turn, gives it back into Ismail Benassa. McAllister, it's out on the wing to Takifuzi Kubo. One player you guys voted uh, for or against player of the season or signing of the season. I'm trying very hard to concentrate here as the move continues. Robertson over to Diaz. It's very overcooked. Very horrific at the end of it as Kessier now. Oh, he stepped it round Rafinha. Virgil van Dijk. Barcelona will get their chances and that was a bit of a reckless one from Alexander Arnold, but we win the ball back. But then again, it's Barcelona again. Need to be better as players out of position. Rafinha, Trent tried to get back and took him out. Now, that is going to be a yellow card. Nothing from the free kick, though. Instead, we get a highlight again. And it is McAllister. Takifuza Kubo. We need a bit of an overlap. Please, Trent, offer it. There we go. Ball swung in. No one there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, marks the end of the semi-final number one. It was very quiet at Anfield. We've got to say that. No shots. And it's all to play for at Camp Nou. Interesting. As it's straight into Premier League focus, we can't slack on this. And we can't win the league against Fulham. That means we'll probably have to simulate the game at the cottage. But simulate with our second string team, apart from three of our four defenders. I just don't want to risk Butcher in a game that could potentially cost the title. A slip up in the league in these simulations could be costly. But Diogo and Gakpo, that's a big result. And is the league winnable in our next game? I believe if we win and City don't, we may win it. Still though, focus has to change significantly, as you can see. We stuck everyone in an ice bath, but still Van Dijk's stamina is low. We're going back to the same team that got us a draw at Anfield, and we're relying upon them to get us into the final. Here we go, Camp Nou. There we are chatting with Xavi ahead of the kickoff. Media duty done for both managers. Now it is down to only the players on the field to make the difference. Very excited about this. I've actually got that Barcelona kit in my cupboard, of course, in the old Liverpool one for now. As we need to cause pain to the best club in Spain and we need to go forward down this right-hand side. Come on, that's his Kubo around the corner. Trent Alexander arnold he's trying to cut back and Saliba's in their defence. That is one incredible signing as Saboslai now, though. He needs to step away from his players that are putting the pressure on. Van Dijk, switch across. 
Kubo with the header. It might have injured him, but he's back on his feet for now. And we need to go forward. Here's Darwin Nunes using Kubo to try and cross that into the middle. We need someone there, though, to poke it in. And Lewandowski, no. Lewandowski into De Jong. Rafinha, we're tracking Barca now. It's their first attack, maybe. Rafinha into Frankie De Jong. Allison. Oh, my days. What a save! Won't be easy this one as the corner whipped him from Frankie as well. McAllister to come away with this one. He's getting caught by Rafinha. Oh, no, he's not. The slide tackle evaded. Alexis passes it back into Luis Diaz, who now sends through Dominic. This is club pay. Darwin Nunes can't even speak properly as Darwin Nunes. Now that is a chance. Oh my days, we should be 1-0 up. That was such a wasted opportunity as Gavi is going to get forward for Barcelona. Lewandowski's always a threat as well, but we win the ball back and we just need to move it quickly like McAllister did last time. This time though, Diaz can't get away. It's really, really difficult. I won't lie, Barcelona ticking the ball around very well. I think, I think the winner of this leg... As Gavi goes very close, we'll win the overall thing. Then, of course, I don't want to speak too soon as De Jong into Gavi and Ferran Torres. We need to get a tackle in there. That is so poorly timed by Kuate. Oh, no. Did I seriously call him Kuate? Kunate. I, I rebuilt with a player called Kuate the other day, so allow it. As Lewandowski stepping over the free kick, passed by Ferran into the path of Rafinha and down the throat of Alisson. He'll know him from Brazilian duty as there is time called in this first half. Nil-nil in the first leg, nil-nil in this one. It's going to take a moment of madness to overcome Barca. No changes just yet, lads. I just want to say to Darwin, your shooting has to improve. Only bloody chance coming to him as a ball whipped in at the start of this half. Into our box, of course. We don't want the Barca fans behind their team as Kubo now needs to just keep hold of this and he has spooked Balde. Here we go. Sabozloy inside. It's going to cross the field, though, into Luis Diaz, who has Sabozloy still with him. And that is the goal we needed. Dominic Sabozloy, one of our best players. And yes, you probably shouldn't say that as a coach, but we have done a madness there. The Colombian, I don't know how... Kubo found the pass across the field from winger to winger and to Bosley there for the tap-in. Great stuff. And the timing as well is superb. I mean, to be fair, it could have been later. I don't like that they've still got most of a half. Still, why am I complaining? We've knocked PSG out and it could be Barca out if we cling on to this. That's a ball straight into Kubo. Thank you very much, Trent. Put in the midfield under a bit of pressure, though. And that is past as Lewandowski. Got to watch that centre as he doesn't opt to shoot. But Van Dyke's, Van Dyke's took him out. Virgil, why? Virgil, why? He was around you, but he's put a leg in. And to be fair, he's dropped to the floor very, very late. Questions to be asked. VAR should have been checked as Lewandowski against Allison, who makes the save, though. That is huge from our keeper. A mistake from VVD, honestly, bailed out by the keeper and to be fair if we could break on them here it would be huge for not only the confidence of Van Dyke but the entire team Darwizzi that is shocking and in fact I'm gonna drag him off he can play in the league time for Jota to maybe shine if I'm not incorrect I believe I remember almost selling him to Barcelona still he's now on the field and that's a corner taken all the way back to Kubo Kanate around the corner Dominic Zabozlai this is into Kubo. Kanate on the yellow card. Get back into that defense, though, buddy. As Robertson into Kanate. We need to just pass that across very nicely as VVD. Oh, that's it. Balde inviting a little bit too much pressure for my liking now. And Rafinha. Oh, my days. He stepped across. And Allison. you have got to come and collect that, mate. You've saved a penalty, but do not get complacent. Corner ball. And that's ours. Get in there. Got to the point that we celebrate in every move as, oh my days, Luis Diaz ran off the field there. Was he searching for a water bottle as, whoa, that is very reckless from Maserawi. And late on in the game, Nusar is dismissed. This should just be a say out job or see out job, should I say? With only two minutes of the game left. I mean, to be fair, it allows them to throw bodies up. Not care about defenders. Now they've got one less. Sabozloy. That is a very good drag back. And Jota looking for the gap. Diogo Jota on the angle. It doesn't matter though. Because the referee has blown that whistle. And gets in there Liverpool. Oh Liverpool have done it. It is a 1-0 job. 
away in Spain. And that means there'll be two finals here today. Perfect. As you can see right there in the final, it will be Juventus as probably everybody could expect. As straight after that, Darwin wants to speak to us though. Boss, I'm not happy with how you spoke to me at half time. I don't want to upset players, so I am going to apologize for Darwin and say there's still plenty of games to go today. As there is, we've got Wolves next and Man United and Brentford. We hope to wrap up the league with then Chelsea and Juve. And Darwin will play in the next game despite being a little bit unhappy. Not change the team much because of course, we don't play finals for a while. We need our best players as we aim to win the Prem. And we technically could win it against Wolves, who have Simicas, whoever, two ex-Liverpool players. However, actually, pun with the name right there. We are going to still sim it because I really have faith that Manchester City will win. And Jota in the last minute against the former club. That's brilliant from him. As yes, you can see right there, we are still top of the table. What was the result for City? If we keep scrolling up, oh my days, they won 5-0. Makes me a bit nervous with goal difference. However, the boys shouldn't be nervous because if we beat United at Anfield, Liverpool will win the Premier League. Straight after this, Van Dijk's on to me. Boss, I don't care how tired I am. Please put me in this game. Don't worry, VVD. I am with you. He's going to get the captain's armband. But oh my days, that is horrific fitness. I'm going to listen to my captain, though. Just let him overrule me this once. And it's got to be the strongest team. The team that just beat Barcelona. So I also forgot to give man of the match in that game. Alisson, I'll put it on screen now, just so I don't forget. As hopefully it has another performance not to forget here against United. As this is huge. Not only is it at Anfield, not only is it the rivals to win the league. It's an actual game's rest next time. Because if we've already wrapped it up, we can put the youth out, give the first teamers and Van Dijk a rest before Chelsea. Again, though, won't be an easy game. They really put it in. I think it was last time or the time before. I think we beat them 1-0 the last two times. Might be wrong with that. But I remember when they were 2-0 down to City one year, IRL. Pogba and Smalling made sure City didn't win the league against United. And we've got to make sure they can't do it here to us. Anthony, the fidget spinner with too much room inside. Fred the Red is tackled. And what? No way the referees give a penalty for that. No way is that the tackle I just made giving it away. Wow, what? Two penalties in two games? I don't believe this. As Marcus Rashford for Manchester United. Again, though, don't be watching Lewandowski because Alisson, he might be on for two man of the matches now. It's a brilliant save. And to be fair, could it be a counter from it? The Anfield makes a racket right here. I called it the Anfield as we need to get going and strike that. Still got the ball. I am very much excited by that penalty save, though. Sometimes... Giving a penalty away and saving it is the best cause for causing some engagement. That's bad from Onana and we should have scored. And here we go. Trent into Dominic Savazlai. Down that line. Wrong player it's twigged onto. But still, it's found Kubo and Takafuze Kubo to cut inside and power it at Onana's goal. Wide. Just wide as here is Bruno Fernandes as well. He's found a ball into Anthony. No, lads, it's still nil-nil despite how exciting it may be. And is that Borja Iglesias? I don't know. I saw the second name a little bit as Luis Diaz. Can we get some runners in front? No. We'll cut back instead and we'll give it into Robertson. Robertson inside onto Diaz. Diaz now into Zabosloy. Little move and oh, that has to be killed off. Same circumstances really as Barcelona in that last game as the whistle is going to go any moment and I'll take it just because... There's no gap through the United defence. Could we have to wait to win the league? I hope not, as I want to give a lot of players a rest, of course. Like I just said previously, Canate keeping the ball right there. McAllister squeezing a good one through. And there's a dive in on Kubo there. He's causing a bit of problems here. He put a good ball across to Luis Diaz last time. Can he do it this time? Oh, Nana! We've got to make up for it. Or go after it. I am so indulged in what's happening here. I'm not really focusing on what I'm saying as Van Dijk, who should be shattered now. It's Bruno. We, we forced him back. We'll take this from United. Running scared, but now running forward. And Borja Iglesias again through the middle. Van Dijk across. Van Dijk with the block. Brilliant work 
from Capitano and McAllister. Look at the run from Diaz. Diaz only has to get past Victor Lindelof and he's away. It's Luis Diaz to make up. Oh no, it isn't. It's Darwin Nunes and what a save. What a save. I thought it was Diaz from the pace, but of course Darwin's quick himself. Trent not quick on the tackle of Rashford though. He's kept him relatively quiet and oh no, Fred the Red. Iglesias, big save that from Allison. This is not exactly what I wanted though. I need more. I need a little bit more, and that's hit the hand of Diaz. It's rolled behind him, and it struck his hand. Oh, there was no stopping it. Diego Dallo trying to hit another rocket, and yep, Rashford. Will he go the same way? He will, and I don't believe this. Three saves out of three from Allison, and we've got two cup finals next. Cup finals usually go to penalties. I'm feeling relatively confident with the keeper. Come on, lads. Don't let them win this game. They shouldn't be in it at all. Allison with the save. We need to try and block it off. Hoyland's not shot, but Rashford has. And that is Man United in front. Not even opting to shush Anfield. He's doing the, he's doing the point to the head. Never mind winning the league. If we lose the game, we could potentially bottle it. Pass across from Hoyland and Rashford does what he does best. Finishing the ball. Liverpool, we've got to pull a finger out. Come on, we should have scored through you, Darwin, by now. And we've got to make sure we make the little amount of time left worth it. Referee, play on! Play on! Oh, I wanted the advantage as we've won the free kick anyway. We'll take it. It's a Bosloy. Has to go backwards. Kubo into Robertson. It's Andrew Robertson! Big test of that. Big tester of a shot into Bosloy. No way has he won the ball in the last couple of minutes up the field like this. He just needs to pick the right pass. Not exactly. It's found Kubo though. And Jeffrey makes a tackle. Ball whacked. And Man United have won at Anfield for the first time. I believe in this save. And it stopped us from winning the league, obviously. No celebrations. It will go to final day. And I'm gutted by that because look... At it. It hasn't introduced them into a title fight. They're too late. Better late than ever for their Champions League campaign. But City, if we fail to win, now have the better goal difference over us. And we have to beat Brentford yet again with a tired Van Dijk. I'm going to ask how he's feeling. BVD, my captain, would you feel okay coming off the bench in the final Premier League game? He says he's offended he's even been asked the question. He has to start as he wants to make sure he lifts it. Fair enough, fair enough, as we'll have to make some changes though. And Nunes, sorry mate, you've cost yourself being on the field in the final. And it's gonna have to be highlights because I can't play five games in one episode. I know I wanted to make it a long one, but I've still got another main channel to look after. Are we away from home as well? Yes, we're away. So if we do lift the trophy, won't be in front of all our fans. We really didn't do ourselves justice against Man United. Even though Allison saved two penalties, it was a shocker. As McAllister get us in the lead rather early. Diogo Jota. Save from Raya and we'll take this corner short. Zabozlai into Luis Diaz. It's Dominic Zabozlai still. Canate. He was almost finding a gap and not getting a ball in. Lads, what is this? What are we doing? We're really not making this easy for ourselves. I mean, Brentford... Very compact in the defence. They won't want a title lifting on their ground. As here they come themselves. It is Jensen through the middle. Keen Lewis Potter. NS Unal back into Keen Lewis Potter. And Brentford lead in a must-win game. The bees have stung Liverpool at the death. Oh my days. What is this? I mean, that looks like... A clear run from Diogo Jota. Let the ball fall nicely. Oh, there's a defender in the way. But we do have the pass to the side. It is Harvey Elliott. Harvey Elliott saved by David Raya. Still, we need to keep on going and try and create a chance. Vitaly Janelt into Jensen. I can't believe it's next Holman as well who will be costing us. Good tackle, Canate. No, not a foul as Trent again with his switch of play. But... It always says long ball to Liverpool and then ends straight up in Brentford's path. That is a horrific tackle. And then there's Janal poking it through to Jensen onto Lewis Potter again. Should have been two. Should have been two as Diogo. Look how quickly they're getting back in the defence. That guy with the ponytail is going to haunt me in my nightmares if we don't do this. Harvey Elliott with a ball in the middle. Diogo stopped by Luca Dean. The ex-Evertonian. However, though, a penalty for Diogo. We could win the league on a draw if City 
fail to win, so it's important we score this against David Raya. Penalty converted, but is that enough? Skipping it straight up, and oh my days, NSU now. It's a good job Kanate has a bit of pace about him, as it's took Van Dijk off due to the fitness, and it's given us a chance for a counter-attack. It's Curtis Jones on the field, all the substitutions made, Luis Diaz, through right here, the Colombian Luis Diaz to try and win the game! And he has done! Luis Diaz will give Liverpool the Premier League trophy! I almost said Champions League, but it's not that far yet! Them fans in the corner will be going mental. You can see management, everyone in the huddle as we've come back from 1-0 down in a highlighted package, lads. We've done it. Will it show us the trophy lift? Liverpool, champions of England, and the first trophy in the cabinet. I absolutely love this in the final episode. It is only one of three, hopefully, as we can name a player of the year. Not, not the player of the uh, save, which I asked you guys to vote for. It's gone Carlo Ignacio has done absolutely niche, but he will be lifting it. I can't believe it. It's took Van Dijk off. He wasn't fit, and I'm sure he'll understand. The only thing that matters is we've lifted that trophy, and I'll give the player of the Premier League to Darwin Nunes. Why not? Oh, what a feeling. Trophy number one, and I think Van Dijk's fitness will actually see him out of Chelsea. It will see him out of the final altogether. Big occasion for Kumieto coming onto the bench, and... We need to switch it around a little bit. FA Cup's a huge occasion, but due to our Champions League final, I'm going to drop Jones back a little bit. We are going to heavily rotate here. Kelleher's chance to get a Liverpool medal round his neck whilst playing. Same with Seb Butcher, Jota starts, Gakpo, and we're going to see how we do. On a last minute call, just because I really want to, of course, keep you guys engaged for the Champions League final, which is the biggest one of them all. This will be a simulated game. I also have a little award ceremony hopefully planned for the end of this, so let's get into it, lads. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 okay. Penalty for Chelsea. Berardi against... That is now... Is that... Is that four penalty save? That is slightly unreal. I didn't know how to react to the penalty even given as the first highlight in the fifth minute, and then saving it, not even with Alisson, but our backup keeper as let's just get going, shall we? Like I said, nothing can benefit like a save penalty sometimes, but not when we put terrible crosses like that into the box. Stefan Beshetic with the hit of the post! That should have been 1-0. Still another chance, though, when Harvey Elliott uses the decoy run, and we're going to try and give that into Curtis Jones. Over the top for Cody Gakpo. Reach your man, for goodness sake, as now Nicholas Jackson into Kunku. Now into Cooper Miners. They've hit over the top. That's a good chance, you know. And Dominic Sabozloi, come on. He's now on the field and he's just running a plain circle there. Come on, we need to get going. It looks like, well, we had no sharpness before the game. It doesn't look like it. I know it. But we still should be doing better. Stefan Beshetic into Harvey Elliott, letting the ball go around the corner into Diogo Jota. Back into Elliott. He hasn't even been here long. No! That was such a goal. You saw the keeper commit. He went down and the ball just flew the wrong way. There's now a chance is this Dominic Berardi again, the man who missed the penalty or had it saved as Nicholas Jackson with a little run in the middle. Cooper Miners into Mikhailo Mudrick. We need to watch his man. Butcher is just out of place and a brilliant block. Brilliant block that... Don't tell me that sees us straight to penalties. Can't take another one. Oh, and it does. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Cooper Miners. Finally, out of five penalties, the fifth one goes in against us. Now, we've scored one ourselves today with Diogo Jota, and we score another one with Sabozla. Interesting final, this. The game's gone pretty quick, and Dominic Berardi makes no mistake with his second one. The captain of Chelsea. Surely, they've got an Italian manager to captain him, and Diogo Jota scores like he did before. Come on, for trophy number two, Enzo... Kelleher almost with the save. Cody Gappo, it's all down to you, mate. That's a lot of power and enough power to slam it in. Get in there. Come on, keep on going. Christopher Nkunku saved by the Irishman. Now, advantage for Seb Butcher if he can just smash this down the middle. There we go. One save 
for the Irishman in between the sticks. It isn't even Allison. Try and put him off a little bit. Straight down the middle, Reese James. He doesn't go there. And now the penalty from Curtis Jones, who's only been back a little while, to send us through to our second trophy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that Curtis Jones. We risk the simulation. And he scores in the final of the FA Cup at Wembley. Rotated team that makes Liverpool have a domestic little double. Get in there. Get in there. What a big occasion. Celebrations all around. And of course, we're not doing a player of the FA Cup. If we had to, to be fair, I'd probably give it to Darwizzi again. And you are joking me. Van Dijk again, of course, kept out the squad, but the man to lift the trophy, that is Kumieto, who I think is making his only appearance but lifting the trophy. To be fair, he is one of the players getting released, and yeah, it's the trophies that count, not the name on the back of the shirt, but the name on front of it. It is two for Liverpool, and the youngster celebrates as we have one more to go. There it is, and the final... How is this fair? The final is being held at Old Trafford. We are Liverpool. We don't like going to Old Trafford. I mean, to be fair, results-wise, we do. As before we get into this final, though, we are going to round up the season. Now, if you didn't see, of course, we have already given out a man of the match to this man right here, Alisson. The highest rated at the club. Salah, we get to see him again. And, of course, he is leaving. It feels like... An eternity he left. Um, Darwin Nunes, who submitted a transfer request. Ignore that, because he's player of the season. And to be fair, I don't care what happens. Maybe he submitted it because we're leaving as manager. As that's not what matters, though. They're only in episode ones, as we're going to be doing a save roundup. Starting off with Seb Butcher. He's got young player... Congratulations, Seb. As goal of the save goes to Luis Diaz. Now, it could even be today's. That last minute one against Brentford. But it is the flick he performed against Everton that gets him that accolade. Well done to him. But now it is the actual rewards you guys voted for. As I can announce, after 180 votes, your player of the save is Dominic Zaboslai. So, well done, Dominic. The Hungarian gets it. Everyone, round of applause. As the next one that I asked you guys to vote for was transfer of the save. In third place, and understandably so, Madu Kone, who didn't play too much. Second place with 21%, Ishmael Benassa, who's been here from day one. As to my surprise, but I guess he's been good. Take Fusa Kubo does get signing of the save, despite only being here for what? Six months, if that? I mean, congratulations to him, and he will be playing, surely. In this final game. As this is the team that we're going with. And yes, Darwin Nunes does start despite disappointing performances. And there is no room on the bench for Jones or Elliot. I am going to have a word with one. Curtis Jones I'm going to pick. And I'm going to say, Curtis, I apologise. There's been players who's been here longer than you. You've played for Inter and Liverpool. You've got plenty of Champions League experience. So therefore, Bershetic will be going on the bench. And no response. Even if there was, I wouldn't listen to it as looking at top scorers. I must be balmy. I must be crazy to go for Darwin. But I'm still going to go for it. He's more popular with you guys. More votes in the, of course, player of the season. Or player of the save voters. There he is. Yep, he's going to go. He's unhappy. So I'm going to back up a minute and see the team that we face in the finale of finales. Here we go. And for mind games, just for myself, we didn't watch any of the graphics like we usually do going into a big game. I just want to get this game over with. And I don't mean over with in a bad way, of course. I mean get it over with. No extra time, no added nerves. Because, of course, it does get to squeaky bum time when there is a treble on the line. The Trent with a ball inside into McAllister. Now, Mac. What is that? As now Ismail Benasso winning the ball, trying to go forward a little bit again. Moise Keane, ex-Everton striker against us. If he scored, it would be very damaging. McAllister around the corner. Just dink that in Kubo. And why? Why is he aiming for Darwin? Wrong pass, as I'm pretty sure it just showed on a graphic as well. Bernardo Silva is making his debut in the final for Juve. Now, that is a risk as Kubo cutting inside a little bit with a bit of a skill. We don't usually try them as there's a ball across and he's straight into the path of Darwin Nunes who tries to cross again. That could have been an early start. That could have been defining for the rest of this finale. We'll try the short corner edge of the box. Canate 
Nice pass back out to Robertson. I like the ball retention. Definitely what he meant as Dominic Sabozgloy on a turn and he's hit an arm. He's hit an arm. Referee. Penalty. This is huge. Lynn Normand being shoved basically onto the ball by Darwin Nunes. And this, lads and lasses, is a huge chance. Darwin Nunes will take it. Of course, a risk putting him in the team. It is usually Jota on these ones. But into the top corner it goes. Darwin has Liverpool ahead and done for the treble. Fantastic penalty. Fantastic. Can't get any better than that at Old Trafford as well. In front of... I don't think it's a Stretford end. I don't know what it's called that end. But get in there, lads. One big toe on the trophy. And that's all we've needed right now. Come on. That is absolutely huge as Trent... The pass down the line into Takefuso. Imagine if we got another before halftime here against Juve. Honestly, it was harder playing Barcelona. Darwin Nunes should have took it closer. But then again, Kubo robbed the ball straight off one of their players and goes again. Benassa into Saboslai. Into Benassa again. Darwin Nunes. It's good football. It's very good football. It's, dare I say it, domination in this first half of the Champions League final. Ronald Araujo gets stuck in Darwin. Almost. On his Uruguayan teammate. As we'll take it. We will take that so far. At the halftime break. Liverpool 1-0. Now lads. Let's just calm down a second. And know the position that we're in. We've got to keep on going. Especially Van Dijk at the back. Keep that fitness up. We've almost got the trophy. Just keep it ticking along. Come on. I mean Juve haven't really threatened. But still that's the worry in this of course. As Robertson. Benassa. It's going to be dropped off Nunes into McAllister. Less of that, though. Less of that, though, as a shot. Tried from range from Bernardo Silva, and it didn't even get past the man. As Saboslai trying to get past his man right here. Look at the ball through the middle. That is a great run from McAllister, but he's getting caught up with. He might have to go from range. They were rapid onto him as Aura Raujo has overcooked it. And Darwin, his teammate... In the international squad with a tackle. Overcooked the cross. Shot in. Oh, not working. But hang on. This is a free kick. And it's Dominic Sabosgloy territory. If he could score this one, he's got to curl it around the wall. It's Moise Keane. There was a brilliant opportunity. As look at that, Robertson. Absolutely brilliant tackle. And we're going to give it to Kubo again. Running the show down on that side. Ball in. Getting closer to a second, you know. Still, though. Only 1-0. And it's been quite dull that they've not really threatened. However, I don't want them to score. Now I've just said that. It's Moise Keen running through. And Van Dijk with the big tackle. McAllister. Come on, we need to get out of this area. Darwin Nunes threading a ball through onto Kubo. He has support of Dominic Sabosklois. It is Takafuzo Kubo. He's against Chesney. He's going to try and go round him. Oh, he can't tap it in the open net. But it's put in the top corner by McAllister. And that is... All that is planned. All that is written in the script. For a second there, I thought Moise Keane was celebrating with us. It's the blue hair of Manu Kone. He's going to have to change that to red as McAllister. Kubo tried to be smart. McAllister was smarter. Slotting it top pins. And that should be it done. It should be it done. Vlahovic into Rodrigo de Paul. Two added minutes, even if they get a goal here, which they probably won't do. We should be all good, Robertson. Don't get yourself sent off. It's a brilliant tackle into Ishmael Benassa. And the referee has blown the whistle. The final whistle of the save. Series save. I'm going to say the same thing then. Which is a shame. It means Liverpool is completed. But completed in spectacular fashion. Three trophies. That's not three. That's, that, that's three. There we go. Three trophies for the boys in red. And I've got to give out a... Champions League uh, man of the match. Obviously, it's going to Kubo. Kubo absolutely destroyed everyone. Of course, couldn't finish that final chance, as it should be a chance for Van Dijk. Oh, no! It's not going to be Van Dijk. It's going to be Kanate. But I tell you what, he has been phenomenal. He's played more games than VVD. And it will be the trophy lofted into the air. This is it, guys. Oh my days. Now, please be patient on when another save comes. But if you have enjoyed the Liverpool save, leave a like and comment down below a save that could be the next one for the channel. Thank you for watching.